Hello, this is World University and Schools News and Question and Answer on Monday, July 4th, 2022. Happy Independence Day. July 4th in the US is the day we celebrate our independence uh, dating to 1776 and as a democracy. And in those regards, as we wait to see if and when people will join us here in this open conversation, I'd like to share a little news with you that uh, for one, uh, World University and School newly has coders, programmers. It's so great. And regarding the completed WUAS migration journey to wikibase.cloud, to Wikidata, which World University and School has been partnering with since 2015, to Wikipedia, backend structured knowledge database and management software in between, to Wikimedia. And that finds form, these new coders, having uh, created this uh, new World University and School wiki set of universities in uh, these three entities, the WUAS Mira Hazen Media Wiki as a front end, Wikibase uh, as the management software in between, and Wikidata as the back end structured knowledge database. So this was completed about a week or two ago, and it has the potential to move easily into 300 languages and thereby create uh, for World University and School to create with coders, I think, potentially, 200 online world-class universities in 200 countries in their main languages and building in Wikidata and also potentially 200 world-class online libraries. Uh, much of the recent uh, Wikibase development, I postulate, um, much of the recent Wikidata, Wikibase, Wikimedia developments have uh, come from, I think, creating the German National Library's uh, online library. And dnb.de is their website. And as um, this becomes potentially a structure for other libraries, World University and School may well be able to create 200 online world-class libraries. Wikibase is for managing data, scientific data uh, in Wikidata, structured knowledge database, uh, museum data, and also, for example, collections of data. And so with this uh, new development, this migration journey to Wikibase with coders, for World University and School, we may also emerging out of this, um, these recent developments and particularly with dnb.de uh, software, also find a way to create online museums, collections of artwork in museums, in all museums, in all 200 countries, and potentially through um, time. So think, um, a realistic virtual earth for these universities, Google Street View with Time Slider, Google Maps, Google Earth, TensorFlow, Artificial Intelligence, Google Translate. And then for the museums, potentially think a realistic virtual earth for museums. Time slide back in Google Street View to say the beginning of the Library of Congress uh, in the, I think, late 1700s, early 1800s, and visit some library stacks uh, in the year you choose. If there are photos of them in the Library of Congress of those library stacks, uh, perhaps we will be able to animate them, make them come alive with virtual live uh, reality, and go in and pick a book off the shelf 
from 1815 uh, that was in the library stacks. Cool. Um, time slide forward to um, 1905 or 1968, also in uh, the Library of Congress's uh, vir Realistic Virtual Earth Library. Similarly for museums, perhaps we can go back in a Realistic Virtual Earth for museums to the Louvre Museum in Paris, even to the 1300s or the 1400s uh, and um, begin to visit objects uh, in 3D there in a Realistic Virtual Earth for museums. Uh, also maybe print some objects uh, potentially uh, with 3D printers. So these, um, this recent uh, development regarding the completed WUAS migration journey to wikibase.cloud, Wikidata, Wikipedia having been completed and now su suggesting to me uh, that World University and School has coders also, which we've long been in a way lacking, um, is fantastic. Uh, momentous uh, news item. Uh, super, uh, a super development. So in these regards, um, item two, news item two is, that I'd like to share with you is in what ways might World University and School collaborate further for coders and with Google Education? Uh, now that the migration journey for World University and School to wikibase.cloud in 300 languages is complete. So it's fantastic also that there's a new Creative Commons 4 licensed computer science CS first with Google at World University and School. It's the name of the course where students learn the scratch programming language and um, are uh, un so interested in uh, matriculating at World University and School, people can take this course uh, and matriculate in, and this will lead to our uh, matriculating undergraduate class, our next matriculating undergraduate class, potentially this September 1st, having taken this course, this CS First with Google at World University and School course, learning the Scratch programming language, uh, and this course also created by Google uh, and Creative Commons for license. So anyone can share it, anyone can adapt it, anyone can, but non-commercially, um, pays attention to questions of standards, of educational standards, uh, which might uh, have bearing on accreditation processes uh, in, for example, the US, but potentially with relevance to students in all 200 countries who might be matriculating at World University and School. And if more courses uh, with more, with possibly more Google coders in a sense, um, emerge, perhaps adapting CC4, uh, Creative Commons 4 license, ocw.mit.edu courses into a new Google platform with these Google coders, uh, we will allow um, students to uh, begin to take courses or we'll facilitate this, which uh, pay attention to questions of standards uh, as they work towards their free to students uh, bachelor's degrees, four years, taking roughly the equivalent of 40 uh, CC4 OCW.MIT. <coughs> edu centric courses, possibly newly in a Google education platform uh, that would uh, make give more structure to these courses that might come from CC4 OCW.MIT.edu and pay attention to standards also. Um, so we know students uh, are potentially doing um, the projects and what they therefore may be learning so that when they get a degree or um, a, a, a certificate for an individual course, 
that is evidence that they have gained this knowledge uh, for um, possible use in other contexts, like uh, getting a job, uh, coding, programming, or uh, in any of the 42, I think, majors are listed at World University and School on our homepage right now, worlduniversityandschool.org, which uh, for the most part emerge from uh, cc4ocw.mit.edu online resources. There are about 2,600 courses, I think, now, uh, undergraduate and graduate courses. And uh, it's also newly in six languages uh, with a new website for the cc4ocw.mit.edu translated courses. Apprende.ocw.edu, I think, is the new web address. So that's the second item I wanted to share with you. The third item I'd like to share with you is uh, regarding a momentous further legal entity creation process. So World University and School is two legal entities in California. Uh, we're the WUS Corporation for one, and two were World University and School. Uh, the first, WS Corp is a uh, for-profit general stock company, legal entity in California. The second world university and school um, is an exempt nonprofit legal entity in California. And world the W and WUAS, so both of them uh, together have the potential for remarkable synergies, amazing synergies. Uh, if we and as we move and grow in 200 countries and potentially even in all 7,151 known living languages. Uh, so we received, WUAS received for both legal entity California wings, um, a password on paper, another step in the WUAS my FTB account generation process. Um, FTB is the Franchise Tax Board in California. And this was after calling and setting up the WS Corporation in my FTB online with a representative from the FTB uh, and connecting that with the federal world university and school legal entity first, which is a nonprofit. And soon we'll connect the world university and school exempt legal entity in the state of California in the new WS my FTB account generation process uh, with also World University and School as a federal uh, 501c3. So we'll have these two entities, California entities in the WS My FTB account um, system. And we'll have also uh, at the federal level, um, the World University and School uh, nonprofit, which is information about is in GuideStar. You'll find uh, the information about these legal entities at the bottom of the two uh, WUAS main pages presently. So the bottom of the academic press at World University and School, uh, which is worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash academicpress.html, I think. Um, you'll find the WUAS corporation information for the state of California. And at the bottom of worlduniversityandschool.org, uh, you'll find uh, the two legal entities there, the federal uh, legal entity for World University and School of 501c3 and uh, the state of California legal entity, an exempt uh, entity in California. Uh, and that's one way to begin to see how these three legal entities will work together and these two California legal entities will work together. Uh, so that's uh, also very momentous news. Um, I'll post in today's uh, blog post, worlduniversityandschool.blogspot.com, uh, also some of the Franchise Tax Board websites for your information. If you just are curious about uh, what these websites look uh, like now that World University and School is navigating in this WAS my account generate uh, uh, my FTB account generation process. Uh, that 
we can, that WUS can set up all these legal entities at this time in history, in the information technology age, uh, and have them all interoperate uh, legally and information technologically is an amazing development that uh, is an expression perhaps of uh, freedom uh, on this Independence Day and uh, offers uh, so many opportunities for synergies. Uh, fantastic developments there with uh, the uh, WUS My FTB account generation process uh, as we begin to grow. And this is after the completed WUS migration journey to uh, wikibase.cloud. Uh, so the other news I'd like to share with you, say item four, is uh, WUAS machine learning project for creating virtual musical instrument teachers and even regarding new approaches to practicing a musical instrument, a variety of musical instruments. And in the uh, affiliated with the World University and School of Music School. Uh, you can go to that webpage, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash world underscore university underscore music underscore school and see some of the musical instruments there and see the uh, newly completed uh, migration journey as it takes form in this one particular wiki subject page. Um, so World University and School envisions also for our online music school, potentially in real, real time, planning for having a wiki subject page for all musical instruments ever in all 7,151 known living languages and each a wiki subject per instrument, uh, possibly in all languages too. Uh, so what is the piano uh, in Japanese or in Nigerian? And how will a wiki school or a wiki subject emerge for the piano at the World University and School Music School uh, in English and in Japanese and in Nigeria in a Nigerian language? Uh, are all interesting questions. They will diverge, I think, and that's a creative um, and interesting process as wiki schools. They will also potentially offer performance degrees, I think, uh, possibly bachelor and PhD degrees for free. Uh, so the coursework will be on some of these pages as well, and the process for um, matriculating and developing a performance major. So the practicing aspect uh, with machine learning and virtual musical instrument teachers finds form in conversation a little bit with Harvard Graduate School of Education, Professor Karen Brennan, and a recent chapter she wrote in the MIT Press, published by the MIT Press in a book called Computational Thinking about why uh, for society, school, and self, uh, we teach um, computational thinking. She's asking the why question in the middle of the information technology age, uh, where computational thinking has become uh, much more central in education, in, in educational processes. Uh, and this is uh, exploration, uh, thinking exploration for how uh, we might understand this further. So, World University and School is asking also why, and regarding, uh, for example, how to self-code one's own body-mind as a computer in, a, in many ways in playing, for example, the Scottish small pipes, which I do, and yet doesn't think that these guidelines for practicing a musical instrument that are at scottmcleod.com forward slash guidelines practicing musical instrument dot htm webpage go far enough. These guidelines for practicing a musical instrument were uh, 
written, conceived of by uh, Wynton Marsalis and Yo-Yo Ma. And there are 12 items to these. And where World University and School would like to go with these is how to develop computer science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence as a guide, a coach, a social interlocutor, conversant, making the process social of practicing a musical instrument, learning a musical instrument, also a duet player uh, in a machine learning uh, virtual music guide and potentially as a teacher for practicing a musical instrument. And there's a wiki subject page for this at World University and School, practicing dash playing a musical instrument. And as uh, potentially a machine learning oriented based artificial intelligence uh, guide, or coach or social interlocutor or duet player or teacher emerges for, for example, the Scottish small pipes, uh, this AI and machine learning could also find form in a robot that would be uh, a guide, a coach, a social interlocutor, a duet player, a teacher, uh, and also learn in that process, potentially as a teacher and be able to facilitate uh, learning in students, for example. Uh, these are interesting creative ideas that uh, will find new form with um, machine learning and are perhaps a new expression of computational thinking uh, and asking why also about um, practicing a musical instrument uh, these guidelines for practicing musical instrument by Yo-Yo Ma and Wynton Marsalis begin with the idea of inspiration. That's a good answer from my perspective for why to play a musical instrument. One's inspired, one wants to play, one wants to learn how to play, potentially inspiringly, um, potentially uh, in beautifully, and could one develop could folks at uh, MIT and Harvard and Stanford and uh, other um, schools which are excelling at computer science and eventually World University and School uh, help facilitate rock and roll machine learning and AI guides, coaches, social interlocutors. Uh, so right now, as an aside, I'm working on my second Scottish Small Pipes music album playing Pibrock, uh, classical bagpipe Scottish music. Uh, and I'm interested in a third album, uh, uh, jamming with, improvising with, um, on the Scottish Small Pipes with its nine notes in the key of A or B flat mixolydian or D mixolydian, uh, playing with for example, the Allman Brothers in 1973 at Cow, at Cow Palace in San Francisco. And that energy, uh, to what degree could we create a new form of music with machine learning for bagpipes, for Scottish small pipes, um, as a consequence of computational thinking and uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence? This is uh, also could find form in Google ecosystem and platform with their emerging avatars and uh, with their TensorFlow AI. Uh, how to make these machine learning avatar bots, virtual music teachers, robotic music teachers, inspiring and fantastic um, are interesting questions as well. Um, if you're interested in reading this free chapter by Karen Brennan in MIT Press, uh, I'll post the link to her Twitter post about this. Uh, her chapter is called A Case for Why Society, School, and Self and can be downloaded from the MIT Press. Uh, 
Uh, I'll post this in both blog posts, in both blogs today, World University and Schools blog and Scott Dash McLeod's blog. Um, and the last item I'd like to share with you has to do with uh, a WUAS Longevity Genetics Institute, uh, potentially uh, even in Canyon 94516 on the ridge with a focus on physical digital um, experiments with both longevity genetics, how could we double the lifespan, the age span of 10 species uh, so that these physical organisms, biological organisms live uh, for two times the length of their outermost age limit. So if a, e, a C. elegans, um, very simple organism uh, that has 302 neurons so that make up in a sense its brain or its nervous system with, which is just a millimeter long. If this uh, species lives um, nine days, uh, or oh, let's, or um, if it lives two and a half weeks, which is, I think, uh, its outermost age limit, could World University and School add genes back and make it live five weeks and do this with, um, uh, understanding what the aging process is biologically. So adding biological genetic material back to this, maybe in their food, but one also do this digitally and uh, virtually in a realistic virtual earth for genetics, uh, connected to even um, in a sense, an electronic medical record for C. elegance. Could one do this also for Drosophila flies uh, if they live at the outermost two to three months, uh, could World University and School double their lifespan to six months with uh, a spray or a genetic material added through their food? They live off of decaying fruit, I think, fruit flies, um, and thus get them to live to six months. Could we do this also? for uh, genetically uh, online. So could we turn this genetic, physical, biological material into ones and zeros and make avatar bots representations of Drosophila fly live and more double their lifespan digitally? Similarly with humans, could we, uh, extrapolate from these other species, C. elegans, Drosophila, um, on the digital side and see what it is that leads to doubling their lifespan and uh, double a human's lifespan to 244 years from 122 years. And in the process, could one also um, connect this potential for longevity genetics, and also aging reversal genetics for humans, so in Drosophila fly and C. elegans, uh, in a realistic virtual earth for genetics to uh, relate the human's longevity genetics or reverse aging reversal genetics to um, an avatar bot electronic medical record for a human and even have that um, avatar bot electronic uh, medical record be connected to molecular electronics chips or semiconductors. And could one then um, with a watch, a smart watch uh, that had a patch on it, um, import the molecules that we subsequently may find increases 
lifespan, age span, or reverses age span, uh, and digitally in the realistic virtual earth for genetics in the avatar bot electronic medical records into the body through the skin patch in the smartwatch downloaded from the web uh, and have these molecules um, newly in the body uh, either reverse age or lead to uh, longevity genetics. So George Church, the Harvard and MIT professor of genetics is studying these questions in very interesting ways in the lab. And uh, his thinking suggests that by 2030, we will have some kinds of FDA approved um, aging reversal genetics in place and available. Um, I'm curious how World University and School can further facilitate this with particularly a focus on a realistic virtual earth for genetics, potentially connected even with uh, molecular electronics chips, a new development that George Church has recently tweeted about the Roswell chip, micro, uh, microchip for molecular electronics. So that's a little bit of uh, news that I'd like to, that I wanted to share with you today um, in this WUAS news and question and answer. I'm Scott McLeod. Um, it's Monday, July 4th. It's about 1030 AM um, in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I'll post the recording of this to uh, World University and Schools YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. I'll also tweet about this at twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. And I'll also um, share this with the email friends who get the WUS news and question and answer emails. Uh, and if you have questions or want to join this conversation, email meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org. And until next week, which I think is uh, July 11th, uh, Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Um, see you then. Bye for now.